Hello, welcome to Ryan Talks Physical Media and Tech, and today we are talking about some of the Apple shortcuts that I use with my Apple TV. As always, if you are new here and you love all things tech and physical media, please do hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and join me down in the comments. Apple shortcuts can be used for a range of different things, but in this video I just want to focus on uh, how I use them with my Apple TV, particularly when it comes to movie watching and music streaming. I'm going to talk you through the shortcuts that I personally have set up on my iPhone and how I use them, as well as how to set them up if you wish to use them as well. So you can quickly, at the touch of a button, you know, activate the screen saver, or if you want to go to Netflix, you could quickly just press a button and it will take you to Netflix. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to put time codes down below so you can skip through and see the different shortcuts. I'm going to talk you through how to set them up and what they do. So we're going to start in the shortcuts app. And the first thing that we are going to do is to create a new folder up here. And we're going to call that folder Apple TV just so we keep them all in one place. I'm actually going to call mine Apple TV 2 for the sake of this video because I already have an Apple TV folder. Um, and then we can go into that folder and start adding our shortcuts. And the first one that we're going to add is the nice and simple one of just basically turning the Apple TV on. Now, obviously, you can just use the remote to do this, but I actually find myself using this shortcut quite often. Uh, you know, I have my phone in my hand a lot more, so, you know, I can just quickly press the shortcut button and get it on much quicker than it would take me to go up and get the remote. I know it's lazy, but let's set it up just so you can see how it works anyway. So we're going to hit the plus icon. Uh, and we're going to search for TV. And this is all the shortcuts that we can use with Apple TV. And if we scroll down, we have Wake Apple TV. Now here, when we click this little button here, it will allow us to select which Apple TV we want to wake with this shortcut. Now I only have one Apple TV, so mine is in my living room, so it's called living room. But if you have multiple ones, you can set up a little menu where you can choose which one turns on. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So this will, this is basically the shortcut created. It will wake Apple TV. But if you've got multiple Apple TVs, if you go to here and you search for menu, we have choose from menu and where it says one, two, and you can add as many as you want. Let's say you've got one like me uh, that's in your living room, and oh, it's hard to type when I'm doing leaning over. Uh, maybe you've got one in your kitchen. Maybe you've got one in your bedroom, but I'll just keep two for now. Um, so what you can then do, if we press done, you'll notice that living room and kitchen has been created from the menu. So now if I drag wake living room under the living room menu, and then I would do exactly the same, repeat the same process and drag it under kitchen. And what would happen when we press done, and we run this shortcut now, I press it, it now gives me the menu and allows me to choose which Apple TV I would like to wake. You can also come in uh, and rename this, so at the moment it's called choose from menu. Uh, if you want to rename any of your shortcuts, click that button, little button there, we have rename and we can change the icon. The icon by default for any Apple TV one is the Apple TV remote, but we could rename it here, and maybe I'm gonna call, it, call this one wake. Press done. And you know, if you want to change your icon, you can lots of different icons, you can change the color, etc. as well. But for this sake, I'm gonna keep it like that. And that is our first shortcut set up. The next shortcut we're gonna set up is to quickly enable the screensaver on the Apple TV. Now on the Apple TV, you can set it to enable after five minutes or X amount of minutes. But if you just want the screensaver to quickly come on, uh, we're gonna come here, we're gonna search TV, and you can see it says launch screensaver on Apple TV. Choose which Apple TV you want this shortcut to run on. Again, I've only got one in my house, so I'm just gonna go with living room. And what that will do, we can rename it again, like we did previously up here. I'm just gonna call it saver, just for the sake of this. Quite nice, maybe you just want the screen savers playing in the background. Just press that button, your Apple TV will turn on straight to the screen saver. So now let's look at opening different apps on the Apple TV, which is probably the shortcut that I use the most often. So if we come down to add our shortcut, we are gonna search TV again and you'll see we've got open app on Apple TV. So we're gonna select our Apple TV, and then we can come here and click TV, and it will basically list all the different apps we have on um, the Apple TV. So I recently did a video about how I use the TV Launcher app as my kind of watching TV app. So, you know, I could set that to open TV Launcher when that button's pressed. I could call this watch TV, for example, and when I press it, you know, the, it doesn't matter if the Apple TV was on or off. As soon as I press that, the Apple TV will turn on um, and open up the TV Launcher app. Or if the TV is already on, it will just quickly go to the TV Launcher app. Now that's great, but what makes this particular shortcut particularly useful is if we go back into menu like we did earlier on and go to choose from menu, we can basically make a list of the apps that we can choose from. And I find this quite powerful. So for example, let's just make a couple. If I put TV, 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 um, I could put Netflix, 
and we'll add one more, we'll put one called Disney. Uh, so we've got choose from prompt and then what we can do is we can then put that one under TV. We could create another one open app and this time we are going to open Netflix. So I can go into the TV again. You have to do this every time and it is a bit of a pain, but I suppose it does help if you've got different ones. But let's go into um, Disney. And now if I put this one under Disney, I won't do Netflix just for the sake, but you get the idea, press done. Um, when I press this, it will come up with the different apps and I can quickly press Disney and Disney will open on the Apple TV. So this one is really good. I use this all the time uh, just because it saves going through the remote, particularly if you're, you know, you're just sat down on your sofa, you can't bother to get up and get the remote, quickly press the shortcut and open the app that you want to use. Now, obviously the iPhone works as an Apple TV remote. You can access it from the short, um, now, obviously, the iPhone works as an Apple TV remote. You can usually access it here from your drop-down menu. Uh, but what you can do, which is something that's quite useful, is let's go into our wake shortcut we created earlier. So we've got the Apple TV turning on when this shortcut's run. Um, but let's say then we want to control the Apple TV without having to fiddle about trying to find the control center button or pick up the remote. Uh, if we come and search for remote, oh, not Alexa, let's search for remote. Um, so, there we go. To find your remote, <laughs> make sure. Hopefully, I didn't set any of your smart devices off with that. Um, so we've got show remote control, and we are going to click um, the Apple TV. Just again, we have to do this every time. Select um, the living room Apple TV, and we're going to put that underneath our living room menu because this was the menu I made. If we had multiple Apple TVs, but if you didn't, it would just be under Wake. Uh, we're going to press Done. So now when I press the wake command, what will happen is my Apple TV will turn on. Obviously, I have to choose that one and it will load up the remote control straight away. So now you're, you know, you're there. You can start going in. You can play pause. You can use your trackpad. So that's, you know, really, really useful. And I use that probably most of the time. You know, I don't need to pick up the remote. I do like the Apple TV remote. But if you've ever lost it or, you know, you're being really lazy and can't bother to get up and get it. You know, with, at the touch of a shortcut button, you've got the Apple TV turned on and now you're controlling it here. And again, obviously, you can do that with any of the apps that we did earlier on when we talked about um, choosing, um, setting up different apps to be played. Like this one here, we could again, you know, have the remote control pop open every time we press open Netflix. Just got to remember to show remote control at the same time. So one other shortcut that I use quite often, and this is if you've got sort of smart devices, smart bulbs and things like that at home. Um, you know, if you create a new shortcut, I'm going to call this one, uh, let's call it Netflix and chill. OK, so we're going to go to TV and we want to open Netflix. So we're going to open app, quickly do this one. So we're going to open Netflix on our Apple TV, which is how we do it. Do, 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 do. And then what we're going to do is if you've got like Hue bulbs, for example, or Govi bulbs, um, I've got Hue bulbs in my in my house here. So I'm going to go to Hue. We've got activate a scene. So obviously I could do a separate video on how to set up scenes in Hue, but I'm hoping you're aware of that if you've got Hue lights already. So we can go activate a scene in the living room and then it, you can access all your scenes. So let's say I've got one called chill out. Uh, so now what will happen is when I press this shortcut, my lights will set to chill out and Netflix will open in my living room. And I could also you know, set remote to appear as well at the same time. So how do we quickly and easily access those shortcuts? Because you want them to be there you know, straight away. Otherwise we could just pick up the remote control and find the app ourselves. But you know, what we could do is add um, some shortcut widgets to our home screen. So if you go into add widget and you look for the shortcuts widget, I would usually go for this one because it displays the most. Add widget. Now, what you'll see by default is it kind of shows your most recent widgets, uh, which these are none of the Apple TV ones that I talked about. So what you can do is if you come in here and go to edit widget, um, we can go to folder and change it to our Apple TV folder. And then it will only show those widgets that we've set up uh, ready for the Apple TV. Now, if you've got a newer iPhone with the action button, um, you can do this in a much easier way uh, to the point where you don't even have to navigate anything on your phone. Uh, so what you can do is if you search action button, go into your settings to find your action button settings. Obviously, you can map the action button to turn your torch on or to toggle things like, you know, uh, mute on or off. But what you can also do is go to shortcut uh, and get it to show a shortcuts folder. So if I go into show Apple TV, so let me just go into show folder to show you how I got there. 
Um, there's that Apple TV two folder I created just a minute ago. So now what will happen is when I press and hold my shortcuts button, I get all those shortcuts we just created that I can quickly navigate around. So for example, if I want the screensaver to quickly turn on, there you go, and the screensaver will come on on the Apple TV. So with the, you know, the touch of a button, you can turn your Apple TV on and have the remote showing. Um, obviously, if you've got one Apple TV, you won't have to go into this menu each time, um, and the remote's there straight away. So that's you know quite useful. Yes, you can swipe down and go to Control Center and do it that way, but just having a button that you can press is much nicer. Now, I personally use the action button in a slightly different way, Ooh, we'll find them. Um, which I may save for another video. I have a folder here called action button. And when I press my action button now, um, I have, oh, I didn't set that right, did I? I had controls, did I swiped back? There we go, show action button folder. Um, so now I have a number of different things. Uh, you know, I've got the toggle, I've got to turn on a lamp, the thermostat, um, I've got to turn on Apple TV. Uh, so, you know, it's easy to switch around for just controls that control your Apple TV, or you can do a load of other things with the action button, but I'll save that for another video. So that's how to set up shortcuts on your iPhone for your Apple TV and some of the shortcuts that I use myself. Now, there are always going to be people that say, just use the remote, and I fully get that. But honestly, when I set these up, I thought, would I use these? Uh, I use them all the time, particularly if you've got the action button on an iPhone. Uh, it's so much easier. My your phone is usually next to me. The remote isn't always next to me. It's just nice having one button, quickly select what app I want to open, bang, it opens. Or maybe I've sat down, forgot to pick up the remote, quickly turn the Apple TV on with the touch of, of a button, essentially. So it works for me. It might not work for you. Now, if you've got any particular shortcuts that you use with your Apple TV, please do share them down below in the comments because I mean, there are so many out there. I love Apple shortcuts. I use them for so many different things around my house. Uh, maybe I'll make a separate video going through my shortcuts at some point. But as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.